what is the nerve which is involved which is causing the above appearance of the hand obviously it is the ulnar nerve so ulnar nerve has got a uh, uh, arise from the medial cord of the brachial plexus and uh, C8 and T1 is uh, uh, the root value and uh, if ulnar nerve injury is there the person cannot be able to adduct the thumb most of the thumb muscles are all by median and radial but uh, adduction of the thumb is something that is by ulnar is what need to be remembered Nitin and many more online can you please punch whether the voice is loud and clear for all of you without any interruption very happy to see 43 plus online viewers now about the anatomy of the lateral wall of the nerves if you take inferior turbinate it is a separate bone not the superior turbinate is what you have to be very clear about ECF versus ICF so uh, I'll revise all the questions but actually some questions are preferentially delivered I mean reviewed first uh, just bear with me it is not in the same order as your uh, paper so ECF versus ICF so the remaining are all true that there is a very high sodium which is the principal cation of the ECF and potassium is the principal cation of the ICF is what you have to basically remember calcium sensing receptors where do we find both proximal distal convoluted tubule and the brush border of the intestinal enterocyte uh, <coughs> is uh, what you need to basically remember whereas inner hair cells of the cochlea do not have uh, calcium sensing receptors what are the post translational modification 7 methyl guanosine is towards the 5 end uh, so everyone is saying breakage uh, uh, Raju can you please check the voice fine sure <coughs> right regarding prokaryotic DNA oh Capping, capping of the pre mRNA involves the addition of the word was missing. The word was missing. Addition of what? Addition of 7 methyl guanosine at the 3 end. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, sorry for that. Huh? Okay, one question. Foul play. Huh? Five questions we can excuse. Huh? So, because. Uh, almost uh, weekly two tests we are uh, delivering so there is a reason there is a hell lot of uh, head banging involved in picking up good questions not simple questions so in the process uh, uh, few uh, four or five questions will have that uh, mortality prokaryotic dna polymerase all of them are prokaryotic dna polymerases but pole sigma is uh, used by purely eukaryotes in order to repair the DNA is what you have to basically remember. The remaining statements are all true. Uh, right. I mean, uh, the remaining, it is not unidirectional, it is bidirectional. There is a replicative fork. I think semi conservative is also true, right? Uh, I mean, semi conservative is true. B is wrong. Yeah. And uh, it is not continuous, it is semi continuous. So that is the reason B is a correct answer. <coughs> Antibodies in warm blood group patient. Fundamental question, doctor. If you did this wrong, no? Free coaching, special coaching, huh? because uh, uh, these are all, uh, if, uh, if you see, for a 200 marks paper, Never the lowest score is zero in the history. The lowest score ever recorded was about 35 or 36 marks in the state MD entrance. So that 35 marks may I really wrong the reto. Forget about the exam. So both anti A, anti B, 
antibody will be typically positive in response to basically the member. To digest and decontaminate the sputum and spear preparation, um, what is used? <coughs> we use NaOH and N acetyl cysteine. If you answered this wrong, don't worry. This is a sort of uh, disgusting question actually. About enteroviruses, what is the true statement? They are stable at pH 4, they lead to pleurodynia and they cause encephalitis. They are all the true statements is what you need to fundamentally understand. So what is this mosquito? Tiger mosquito, which transmits Aedes dengue. So there is no effective vaccine for the dengue as what you, all of you know very well. There is a dark thing motility of a gram stained organism which is being shown here which is classical of Campylobacter. Dark thing motility means two organisms Dr. Vibrio cholera and Campylobacter jejuni. About Vibrio alginolyticus, it is a halophilic organism. That is the reason it grows very well in 10% salt solution. Then cell wall inhibition is not the feature of sulfonamides. Whereas penicillin, vancomycin, cephalosporin are all cell wall synthesis inhibitors. I think today's paper is relatively easy. You all should agree with me. Because last week you were all unhappy that, oh, what is this toughness, sir? So we made it little easy. So next week, once more, Wednesday we will try to make it little tough. So some, uh, some way to uh, not let you to become inflated with elation, not deflated with uh, depression. Somewhere in the middle, we want to fly you like a balloon. Eh? So, antagonistic drug combination is uh, uh, penicillin and tetracycline. Whereas, amphetamine, beflucytosine, generally we use these antifungals as a combination. They are synergistic, is what you need to basically remember. <clears throat> what is the KV constant? It is that concentration of the drug at which half the maximal response is typically seen is basically called KD is what you need to remember. CA 125. It is a glycoprotein. It is increased in colon cancer even in non-colon cancer like pelvic inflammatory disease. The normal range in premenopausal women is definitely not 200. It is around 35 milli international units is what you need to I mean, units per ml is what you need to remember, which will be typically found even in 1% of premenopausal women. CA 125 will be uh, found elevated, but that does not signify that it is ovarian cancer. Adrenergic receptors, typically bronchodilation, urine retention, pyloerection, they are all the effects of the adrenergic uh, um, receptor uh, stimulation. Urine dipstick cannot pick up the dense Jones proteins is what you have to basically remember. <clears throat> In a case control study, typically we use it for the uh, uh, rare disease. In a case control study, selection bias is one of the biggest thing that can bring a great amount of error. Because in case control study, it is in your hands to decide who are the cases. If no cases are available, your MD exam, final exam is coming and you need to submit dissertation. What will you do? You will ask your brother-in-law, brother-in-law's father, brother-in-law's brother-in-law, please come and uh, sit as my cases and uh, you will try to finish the study. So bias is the problem. You can't calculate the relative risk. Uh, uh, sorry, I mean... Uh, um, odds ratio is something that is basically calculated in case of case control. Heterophile agglutination is not the basis of the Vidal, uh, but Will, Felix, Paul, Bunnell, cold agglutination, they are all basically based on uh, heterophile antibody. What you get through an immunoglobulin or an antitoxin is a passive immunity, but not a active immunity because it does not uh, stimulate any immunological memory. So, what you get by a live vaccine, killed vaccine, 
subclinical infection or the infection, they all stimulate your active immunity and that become the, um, I mean stimulate the immunological memory. About passive immunity, you can give a immunoglobulin before the disease occurrence. For example, rabies, dog bite is there. You will give a immunoglobulin even before rabies starts. So, passive immunity can be given before the occurrence of the disease. How is anaphylaxis mediated? Which is called anaphylotoxin in the case of uh, uh, complement pathway. C3A and C5A are the ones which have the anaphylotoxin effect. If you did this wrong, complement component pathway, each of their functions, alternate and classical pathway, all this funda you need to iron out today evening only after going home. Epidemic encephalitis is not caused by herpes but rabies, western nylon uh, virus, Nipah virus etc etc lead to it. A 36 year old is being shown to you with cutaneous lesions and the leishmania body, a mastigot forms in the culture is a classical case of visceral leishmaniasis. So, it can lead to neutropenia, hypergamaglobulinemia, lymphadenopathy, they are all the associated features. What you are seeing is a systemic sclerosis. So, Raynaud's phenomena, pulmonary hypertension, bleomycin also can cause a similar illness, they are all the true statements. What you are seeing are the cutaneous lesions along with a portwine stain colored urine which is acute intermittent porphyria. So, um, you must know what is the enzyme which is uh, involved etc etc. But the cutaneous photosensitivity is not always present in case of acute intermittent porphyria. That is one point that is the carry home message. So, there is a facial flushing if you are using um, question 54 C1 not specified in question. What was C1 B was there, no? Huh? Ah, C1Q. So C1Q is not involved. Ultimately, C1Q lead to the formation of C3A, but C1Q directly is not uh, a anaphylotoxin. Only two things, C3A and C5 are the ones which are considered to be anaphylotoxin. I think uh, uh, Dr. House must be happy about it. Then Gliasin toxicity. So, we use uh, leropip print in order to relieve the facial flushing which is caused by the niacin and how, what is the mechanism just review that. In vermicli, you have ophthalmoplegia, thymine deficiency, cerebellar involvement, mammillary body necrosis, they are all the true statements in vermicli. Pulmonary renal syndrome is a feature of microscopic polyangiitis which involves both uh, lungs and kidney. What is the closest to differential diagnosis in the vasculitis for the microscopic uh, polyangiitis? Polyarthritis nodosa. But what is the main difference? Polyarthritis nodosa, you find the skin lesions of, I mean you find the lesions of all stages, right, versus that of microscopic polyangiitis where uh, all stage lesions are not seen. Then second is lung involvement is a feature of microscopic polyangiitis but not uh, polyarthritis nodosa. Now there is a skin involvement along with nutiliating arthritis which is classical of psoriatic arthritis. We use infliximab, methotrexate and uh, LFSF but never chloroquine in case of psoriatic uh, scenario. So, what drugs lead to flare up of uh, psoriasis is also you need to uh, remember there is a list of drugs. It is a orally used direct thrombin, Davidatran. Let me once more tell you, 
aspirin, antiplatelets, thrombolytics, antithrombotics. Surely one question will come out of these three. So please uh, take a chance once more to review. If any one of you have done this question wrong, uh, it's going to be a definite lifesaver when you are taking the exam. Reverse the splitting of the second heart sound. Can you give me the vote, please? So fundamentally, between uh, uh, S1, S2, in the S2 you have A2, P2, which closes first? A2, because the left ventricle operates at a very high pressure. So closure of the aortic valve is earlier than the pulmonic valve. Anything that makes the pulmonic valve to close before aortic valve or aortic valve closure become delayed after pulmonic valve significantly will lead to reverse splitting where P2 comes before A2. So if you take a very severe aortic stenosis what will happen? A2 comes so close to P2 that it will come after P2 and uh, there is a reversal. Agree? Then uh, what is the situation if there is a patent ductus arteriosus? Patent ductus arteriosus. Typically whenever uh, patent ductus arteriosus is there, what is happening to the blood flow in the aorta? It is running away into? Uh, pulmonary uh, artery. Because it is running away into pulmonary artery, the pressure which is required at the root of aorta, which is the driving force to close the aortic valve, is lesser. So, that is the reason the aortic valve closure will take longer period of time. So long it will take that, it lead to uh, A2 to become delayed and all that blood which has flown into pulmonary artery will build a significant pressure at the root of pulmonary artery that it will close the pulmonic valve early. And that typically moves the P2 forward and P2 comes before A2 and that leads to the development of reverse splitting of the second heart sound in case of um, the um, uh, patent ductus arteriosus. One more scenario where this happens is WPW syndrome. These two are the common causes frequently tested responsible for reversed splitting. So what is the cause of diarrhea? Diabetes, hyperthyroidism and carcinoid syndrome, any of them can lead to development of uh, 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 diarrhea. What favors the diagnosis of MR instead of MS is a very, very important question. Give it a board. So typically, whenever only MS is there, instead of MR, what will happen? The amount of blood flowing into ventricle is decreased. So ventricle is jobless. It has no work. Because very little blood is coming, slowly it is coming. It is like dermatology OP. Casualty OP means, casualty means you are running around. No, dermatology OP means slowly patient comes. If it is psychiatry OP, altogether more relaxed. Right. You can tell your problems to patient, patient tells his problems, ultimately you decide that your problems of PG entrance are lesser severe than the hallucinating problems, delusional problems of the patient. So it's more relaxed. So ventricle is more relaxed. So when less amount of blood is coming into ventricle, there is no chance that ventricle fails. Unless ventricle fails, you don't listen S3. There is no chance that the ventricle enlarges. So that is the reason cardiac enlargement is never a feature. Unless the, um, uh, so if at all you find S3 or if there is a cardiac enlargement, whenever you take an X-ray, that is unlikely to be pure MS. 
unless something else has led to the development of BLV failure. Who is that else that can lead to? That could be an aortic stenosis, that could be an MR, that could be AR. Any of them can cause the left ventricle to fail. Otherwise, the pure MS is incapable of causing uh, LV failure. So, that is the reason left ventricular hypertrophy, third heart song, displays FXB, enlarged heart, they all favor MR, not a pure MS. But tapping FX is a feature very classically seen in pure MS. Okay? So, that is what you have to basically appreciate. Pseudo hypoparathyroidism means what? Parathormone is produced but the receptors are not responding. That is the reason you will find the parathormone levels elevated. There is a resistance to the PTH. Then uh, uh, what is the function of parathormone? Fundamentally, it retains calcium from the kidney and makes phosphate to be lost into uh, urine. So, you find the hypercalcemia, not hypercalcemia. Duttin's muscular dystrophy, CK levels are typically raised and uh, <coughs> you ask them to reboot the, the, I mean refresh their browser if they are not getting it. So, serum CK levels are typically raised is what you need to remember. What is this spine? Bamboo spine of ankylosing spondylitis is what you have to basically remember. It leads to emphasitis, HLA B27 is found, foot involvement is a feature, definite feature of ankylosing spondylitis. So, what do you see and where do you see uh, isnophilia? Check shocks, visceral larval migrants and drug reaction in all these scenarios. Whereas Lishmaniasis, what you see is basically leukopenia with a marked neutropenia and thrombocytopenia, but not uh, isnophilia. Clubbing is never a feature of COPD. A COPD patient has clubbing means only one thing that should come to your mind is COPD is generally because of smoking. So, the same smoking led to lung cancer. Unless lung cancer is there, COPD will never cause by itself hemoptysis or clubbing. If hemoptysis or clubbing is there in COPD, ka matlab kya hai? lung cancer has developed. Glasgow coma scale, you need to be quite sure on what is E1, E2, E3, one M2, M3, etc., etc. I leave the literature for you. Now, doctor, you have done endoscopy in a patient with dysphagia with uh, weight loss. So, there is a mass endoscopically. And this is a typical adenocarcinomatous pattern. And adenocarcinoma is more common in the lower end of the esophagus, as all of you know. Then, if you do total gastrectomy, postprandially there is a hyperglycemia that develops, not the hyperglycemia is what you need to remember. Cryptorchidism. Typically, the ideal age to do the orchidopics is before the, as early as possible, before second year. Eh? Before this one, uh, but not five years. Hmm? It doesn't prevent. It doesn't prevent. Even if uh, archetypexy was done, the people because it lived in the abnormal location for a long period of time, uh, it is predisposed to develop a seminoma. Now, what is the typical mass that you are finding? Epigastric hernia. Epigastric hernia. So, it is caused by a defect in linear alba. It can be multiple in about 20% of cases. More common in males. And no such increased predisposition with pregnancy. It is a congenital problem in the linear alba. It is what you need to appreciate. What you are seeing is a varicocele with a bag of warm appearance. So, classically, it can be um, associated with a left-sided renal cell carcinoma, especially if it is very drastically developing. You should suspect possibility of right-side uh, spermatic means where do they drain into? IVC directly. 
left side they drain into renal vein, renal vein will take a 90 degree angle and enter into IVC. So, any left side drastically if it is developing means there is a renal cell carcinoma is what you have to basically suspect. Bladder cancer occur because of smoking. Do not ask me how will smoke go into bladder. Right. So, cystogomiasis and uh, occupational exposure, industrialized countries with uh, benzene dyes, etc., etc. Oh, this is a fundamental question, doctor. If you did this wrong, means general medical condition of preparation is little uh, feeble, right? So, I say questions, just data now. You can't say, oh, I thought of reading that very important topic, sutures. If you tell in the exam hall or feel like that in the exam hall, you are out, right? But by the way, give me the good news. How many answered wrong? Be honest, Harry. Come on. Be friendly. Encourage me to set up a question paper. You all answered, right? Uh, okay, good. I, at least that is good because this is December. You are not supposed to do this uh, uh, question wrong. For breast carcinoma, what are the risk factors? Um, late menarche is not a risk factor, but late pregnancy, late menopause, alcohol, they are all considered to be among the list of uh, risk factors. Craniofacial surgery, convulsion, sudden death, CSF leak, meningitis, anything can occur, but not encephalitis is not a uh, feature. What do you see on fundoscope? Papil edema. So, papil edema. There is a loss of venous pulsations at the optic disc is what you have to basically remember. Then uh, if you look at the color vision, color vision is normal in case of purple edema. So what is the ocular condition you see? Uveitis with a hypopion. So uveitis can be a feature of chronic arthritis, idiopathic arthritis and uh, uh, sarcoidosis, any of them. So what is this technique? Ditrobal bar? retro orbital block. So, that can lead to the injury of which cranial nerve? Uh, second, third and sixth. Obviously, why should it cause olfactory? Stupid question of uh, right. I mean, 40 marks they will not have 200 me. I say question of what they have. a diagram. So, Method of speech communication after laryngectomy. What are the various methods? Tracheoesophageal, esophageal, and electrolarynx. They are all the various methods.